A good morning, good afternoon, and as always, good evening. Another upload, I know, I've got it bad. Uh, I was really pleased by a lot of the comments that I got yesterday when I, like an open wound, I shared my pinball addiction with you all. It was so encouraging, so comforting to hear so many addictive stories come back my way. And uh, yeah, we've, we've all got it bad. It was really nice to hear somebody else that said, 10, I, I'm ending at 10. He's been very disciplined. Uh, he's got seven now. He said he's going to end at 10. There's this, hmm. This sounds very, very familiar, but it was great to hear all your stories. Uh, so, you know what? Uh, keep them coming. Uh, the reason for my upload today is, well, you can already know because I put it in the title. It was this stern back to the future rumour. Now, here in the UK, uh, we've got our own sort of version of Pinside. We've got our own forum. Uh, it's called uh, Pinball Info. And on Pinball Info, somebody, and I must credit him here, somebody but uh, goes by the name of uh, Crew Jones for Life. He, he shared a picture, he shared a picture of Marty McFly, I think he had the guitar, I think he was on the hoverboard, chased by Biff and the gang, was wearing his red body warmer, or as they called it, a lifesaver, didn't they, in, in there? Um, they are, in, in the film, they ask if he's a fisherman, don't they, Some, something like that. Um, I should know, really. Uh, he posted his picture and he said, this was posted on Facebook by Arcade Rescue 911. Out at, they're out of Indiana, and they're a stern distributor. So I'll pop the image up on the screen, so as you can see it. So this image popped up on, on an official stern distributor's Facebook page. I'm just gonna click the image up so I can look at it. And, and anyway, what makes it interesting is it says Stern Pinball. The picture of Marty McFly is, is basically, the, the image is suggesting that it's a stern game. There's no doubt about it. It says, at Stern Pinball. Um, so the reason this is news is so many of us thought, hold on a second. We thought Dutch Pinball had this. Now, immediately I was, I was frightened. I, I, was, I was scared. Not, not literally. But you know what I mean. I, was, I had my concerns. I think anybody that watches this channel regularly will know that, hey, look, they've only done one game, but Dutch Pinball are my, are my favourites. I, I want Dutch Pinball to make... Back to the future. I think I've made that clear. Why? Because, because of the amount of love and care they put into everything. In the Big Lebowski, Dutch Pimble did things they didn't need to do. I also think it's important whoever does Back to the Future is, is not doing two, three, four, five machines a year. I think that's the title I, I would like one company to concentrate on as their priority, and to pour love into it. For anybody that's played The Big Lebowski and also knows the film, you're in no doubt that Dutch Pimble loved that film. Every quote was taken care of, every mechanism, ev every part of that game was given the love it deserved. And Back to the Future, I'm not, I'm not sure Back to the Future is my favourite film of all time, but it's up there. And I've, I've often said it's the perfect film. Quentin Tarantino said Back to the Future was the perfect film as well, actually. Um, I think I said it first. No, I, I clearly I didn't. But it, it's a wonderful film. It's not just nostalgia either. The film <laughs> stands the test of time. Um, sorry, bad joke. But it really does. Uh, it's a film that I've sat down and I've watched with, with my kids. Um, my oldest kid is 19. My youngest is nine. And I've got two in between. They've all loved Back to the Future. It just works, right? Wonderful film. We've been to see the musical. There's um, the the musical, which I'm sure was must have been on Broadway first, right? Uh, it hit the West End in the UK. Took my kids to see that. Wonderful. The things that they amazing things that they can do on stage. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody. If you haven't seen Back to the Future musical on stage, go and see it. What they do with that DeLorean is nobody's business. It's impressive stuff. I've got to say. Uh, I'll tell you this, but I, 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 at the end, I was stood up and I, I was applauding. It was brilliant. But hey, I love the thing. So I got a bit shocked. I don't, do not want Stern doing this. Now, if you remember when I did the video about themes, um, I think it was, was Luke. I think, I think it was Luke who had suggested not only what is your dream theme, but who is your dream manufacturer for that theme. Do you remember? I said that there were certain games I would like Stern to do. I'd like Stern to do Blade. It's got, it's got to be fast. There's, there's got to be a lot of things going on. I just want them to do it. 
I'm quite happy that Stern have got Jaws, rumoured, allegedly. Stern have got Jaws. Not only my pleased Stern have got Jaws, I'm pretty pleased Elwin's got it as well, because I think he really... It's not just his shot design. Elwin gets a lot of praise for his shot design and his innovation. He's pretty damn good at coding, right? Um, I think he's really good, really, really good. But look, he's another person. You know, he loves pinball. But what I mean by love, it, there's a difference between loving pinball and there's a difference between the, the game designer loving pinball and there's a difference between the manufacturer loving pinball. The manufacturer makes sure every nut and every bolt on that pinball machine is perfect. And, uh, and that's why I wanted to go to Dutch. I, I, I was really worried, really, really worried that Back to the Future um, would, would be going to Stern. I didn't want it going to Stern. I wanted it, I wanted it to be Dutch pinball. Now, now this, these are all rumours anyway. We don't even know for a fact. We do not know for a fact that Stern have, um, have Jaws. We do not know for a fact that Dutch pinball have Back to the Future. I just hope it to be so. Anyway, later on in the day, Canada has sought to clarify, sought to clarify this, this picture that we're doing the rounds from this, um, this Arcade 911, um, who were the Stern distributor who, who had published this image of Marty McFly on their website. And I was really pleased that, that he cleared this up. Now, I've only got a screenshot, so I can't see if this is on Facebook or, or, or anywhere else. And I'm not gonna get into the, the controversy of, of Canada. Far, far from it. The Canada, the Twippies, all of that stuff. I've got to be honest with you, I am not interested at all. I love my pinball machines. I want to play pinball. I want to talk pinball. The last thing I want to do is discuss pinball politics. But what I will say is whether you, whether you like or dislike Canada, and there are plenty that do both, by the way, this guy, this guy has got contacts. In football terms, we would say a soccer to you, 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 you folks in the States. In football terms, he would be classed as an, an in the know. We've got a lot of them in, in, in the sector that I work in. Lots of people in the know, the in the knows, the ITKs. They know when a player is, is about to, a footballer is about to join a new team before anybody else. And they, they know all the stuff. They know the, the transfer fee. They know the wages. They know all the fine details. So the in the know holds this information. So I, I've dealt with in the nose uh, quite a lot in my day job. And from what I can see it, Canada is, is an in the know. He clearly has contacts. I don't, I don't know enough of every detail of every, everything he reveals, but he clearly must know people at Stern and, and all the other companies. He must do, he must do. I don't, know, I don't know the history of it, but I was really pleased because what he came out and said uh, so this, it says, Canada's a pinball podcast. Stern does not have Back to the Future. Good, thank you. And they sure as heck wouldn't reveal that they did like this. A dealer posted this, but it's 100% a game that will not have Stern's logo on it. Firstly, good news. Good news, because I don't want Stern to have it. Secondly, he's absolutely right. Stern do not do business like this. They try and keep everything as secretive as they can. In fact, the whole of Pimble does. I've never understood it. I really don't. I really, really I, I Funny enough, I, I revealed to you, um, you know, yesterday about my cameras and stuff like that. I've, I've been, you know, getting cameras for years and dealing with companies like, you know, like Panasonic and Sony, big companies. Companies are far bigger than, than, a, than a Pimble company. And they're nowhere near as secretive with their stuff. And there's something weird about pinball where they keep everything a real closely guarded secret. And, and I really can't, even cars, people that are really into cars, a car manufacturer will reveal this, this concept cars and they'll give you some idea of what they're doing. Um, my, my son is a, a, an off-road biker and, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Marin or, or Scott or Cannondale or any of these, um, these companies that make these wonderful bikes, these off-road bikes. Um, the people that make the mechanisms for them, like Shimano and all these companies, big, huge companies, bigger companies than pinball companies, they'll, they'll come along, they'll come on your pod. You know, you, my son follows podcasts for biking. Shimano will go on there, they'll go to the events, they'll speak with people, they'll do interviews, they'll tell you what they've got coming up. Sure, they won't show you all the fine detail. They won't show you all the fine detail because they don't want their competitors stealing their stuff. But all this stuff's got a pattern anyway, right? But it's just not secretive. Pimble's really secretive. It's cloak and dagger. 
which I think makes us worse. That's why I think well, half the reason we get the addiction. We've got to know, we've got to have it. And I, I quite like discussing this secretive stuff. I, I'm, I quite enjoy speaking about these games that haven't been revealed yet and getting excited about them. I really do. Actually, before I finish, I've got to tell you some exciting news about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, um, and the Looney Tunes. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that in a second. So I was really pleased when Canada said, yeah, but Canada's right. There's no way that Stern would do this. There's no way that Stern would put a poster up of Marty McFly. They just wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. The first thing you would know would there would be a teaser trailer. That's how they do it. Little teaser trailer. And then a couple of days later, you'd see a little bit of the game in a, in a small, some other small YouTube video or something on their social media. And then you'd see something bigger, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd see a sort of far bigger reveal and then you'd get to learn um, maybe at what point it was going to be produced, uh, what the time scale was, that, those, those sort of details. Uh, some of the websites would, would start covering some of this. Stern would not do this. And I'm pleased. That, no offence to Stern, as I say, I, I, I want them to do Jaws. I really do. I just don't want them to do Back to the Future. It's, it's just so... So much of the IP, so so much, so much of my memories, are, I think, are are in this film, and I guess it, to a, to a similar extent, it would be with Jaws as well. That I want everything in this. I want everything to be done. That, by the way, that squeak, that wasn't me passing wind. That that was my chair. I, I, you're thinking, yeah, 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 the squeaky chair routine. That this is the squeaky chair. It's not me. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you believe me, honestly. So I'm, I'm really pleased, really, really pleased about that. So yes, um, Back to the Future is definitely not Stern. That doesn't mean it's Dutch pinball, but it's not Stern, and that's a good thing. So yesterday we discussed, uh, we looked at Spooky Pinball's Jewel release. On my Facebook page, when I put on Gonzo's Pinball Flipper Armour Facebook, feel free to go and give us a follow. Um, it's it's mostly the same stuff on there. We do do some additional videos on there that you you might not see on here in a little bit behind the scenes stuff. We're we're, we're going to revamp the whole Flipperama uh, thing a little bit more in the future. There's no point in me making grand statements about what we're going to do. But we're going to just try and um, change things ju up just a little bit. All the other stuff that hopefully you you enjoy on the channel will still be there. Um, but anyway, on my Facebook page, I I posted the video uh, which was me me coming clean about my pinball addiction. And so our channel sponsor, which you can probably see the sign just up there. Can you see it? Pimble Heaven. They're on the intro. Pimble Heaven are the UK's largest pimble distributor and sponsor this channel. So Phil, who runs Pimble Heaven, he sent a message on Facebook and he, he as a reply to my um, to my post, he said, you'll be getting both of these. I'm sending both of these down to you. So I am going to be getting both Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Looney Tunes delivered here to Flipperama Towers to test both of them, to record them. And I'll be, well, I'll be producing lots of videos. I, so you might remember that I was able to do the side-by-side -side comparison, Foo Fighters Pro and Foo Fighters Premium. All of this stuff I can only do because of Pinball Heaven. I get access to these wonderful machines. And, and we're hoping that very, very soon, Elton John may well be coming this way. Not the guy, not the singer. Elton, Elton is not coming. David Furnish wouldn't like it, quite frankly. But uh, Elton, Elton John Pinball Machine will be coming here. So I'll be sharing all of this good stuff for you. So I, I can only really thank um, Pinball Heaven. I can't thank him enough, really. So that's really exciting. So ha me having talked about these wonderful games, we're going to get them here, which means, remember the rules for the top 50, a game has to have lived here to qualify for the top 50. So we're, we're gonna be able to put Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, we're going to be able to put um, a Looney Tunes. We're gonna to have to put Elton John on the top 50. Not just that either. Um, my friend Ant, Ant who does the wonderful restorations. If you've not seen the Terminator 2 restoration on this channel, go and search on this channel, Terminator 2. Go and have a look, right? So Ant who does the restorations. He also, if you remember, that was the chair again. All right, just, it's the chair. Uh, he, he does the wonderful restorations. Uh, he's restoring uh, Eight Ball Deluxe at the moment. Ant is, uh, and also did a wonderful, most beautiful restoration on uh, Adam's family. That's something we're going to be having here in the new year as well. I have, I've never had an Adam's family. So I know it's the most famous pinball machine of all, right? Um, somebody said to me once, for a lot of people, a lot of people, 
Pimble. Adam's family is Pimble. When you say to people, you know, some people that don't, not people like us, we're, we're all mad and we love this pinball hobby. But, you know, regular folk in life that you meet that, that aren't really into pinball and you say to them, pinball machine, a lot of them say Adam's family. That's the one they know. So I've never had one here. I've played it. I don't really understand the rules. I'm not the biggest Pat Lawler fan in terms of his games. I, I, I struggle to think of one that I've, that I've truly enjoyed, actually. Um, so anyway, that's coming here. So we're going to get a chance to really test it because I think you've got to test this stuff in the home environment. So it's really exciting times, uh, certainly for me here. I love, I just love pinball. I love playing pinball. The opportunity to play these games is fantastic. So, and, and hopefully you're, you're going to also enjoy it as well because I do try and film the pinball machines as well as I can. I do try and put two or three cameras on them. We try and get all the way inside the play field so you, you can see this stuff really close up. It was one of the reasons for doing this channel was I remember I was, I was looking for um for a star trek next generation star trek next generation and almost everything that i saw on it was from the elevated streaming angle which is great for learning the rules but not so good if you think oh, i want i, I, I want to see the depth of that ramp i want to see everything inside it i want to get a feel for the game you, you can't really do that if you're looking to purchase a game you want to see everything you want to see the cabinet the, the back box so that's what i endeavored to try and do with this channel the one person that did always do it i found was was todd todd tucky at tnt uh, which which i just think is, is the best and and i'm just somebody i just love watching his youtube channels but it was something i wanted to do here i wanted to get as many games on the channel as i could so as hopefully if you were maybe one day you'd be searching for a game name any game whatever game you're searching for I don't know. Well, Adam's family, and and you would see it here. Adam's family is a bad example because there are so many Adam's family videos out there. But maybe something a bit rare, a bit more rare, like Junkyard, which we were able to feature because of uh, Tony kindly at his Medway Pinball Club allows allows me to go there and film whenever I want. He's is, is such a great guy, and that I just really wanted to have videos on here so people could get a really good look. At the pinball machine, so that's hopefully what we're looking to do. So, look, really exciting times, really, really exciting times. Just it gets to a point where I think I couldn't get any more excited about pinball. Um, and and I, yeah, there you go. But uh, hey, we love it, don't we? That's that's why we're here. We're all here because we love pinball and this crazy old hobby. So, there you go. Um, headline breaking news back to the future. Stern have got it. Oh, hold on, no, they haven't.